What's going on guys, Bacon here, and I'm going to show you how to make coins in NHL 15. So you just started your Hockey Ultimate team and you barely have enough coins to renew your contracts, let alone build an Ultimate team, right? Well, let me make you a little more aware of where those coins are coming from. Now, just for finishing the game, you're going to get some coins, but if you win, you're going to get more. The next thing is, if you're scoring goals, you get more coins. That's your skill bonus. If you're getting scored on, you're going to lose coins. Same with taking penalties. You lose coins. Offside, lose coins. Icings, lose coins. Everything negative in the game, you lose coins. Passing percentage, on the other hand, if it's high, you're going to gain a lot of coins. Having 80% passing, that's 80 coins a game just for passing on the tape, right? So run that up a little bit if the guy quits playing. Also, every goal you score is worth 40 coins, and every goal against is minus 15. So don't be scared to run up the score either. Now another way to make quick coins when you don't have a whole lot of coins is a quick sell method. Just knowing what cards quick sell for can make you a ton of coins really fast. It's instant. So I buy Brad Stewart for 600 coins. I quick sell him for 613. Now I didn't make much profit, but it was 13 easy coins just because I was flipping through other cards. If I would have seen him for 400, bam, 213 coins. Learn what they quick sell for, easy coins. Oh yeah, when I say learn the quick sell value, I'm not just referring to players. Actually, the players are going to be harder to get than any of the other cards. Every single card in Hockey Ultimate Team has a quick sell value. Look at these coaches. The high-end coaches quick sell for 300 coins. I'm by now for 250, sometimes 200, sometimes 150. It's easy profits and it's immediate coins. So just learn that quick sell value and collect the immediate coins. That's how you get started. So after you build a bit of a coin stack, you might even get tempted to open some packs and try to hit the jackpot, right? Well, watch this. I'm going to open a 17,500 coin pack. And here's the thing with packs. Even after you open it up and you actually get something good, like a Jordan Everlay, let's say. Jordan Everlay is actually a pretty good pull for a pack. And he only goes for 10,000. I spent 17,500 on this pack and I don't think I'm going to get my money back total <laughs> it's gonna be close but i had to get a good pull and i'm probably not even breaking even probably not the best way to build your coin stack an alternative would be actually playing the market let's take bergeron for example let's say we have quite a few pucks he's an expensive player a couple things you want to look at are the current bid the lowest buy now price and the lowest starting price. So we have a current bid here of 71,000. You've seen the lowest starting price other than that current bid was 100,000 and the lowest buy now was 135,000 coins. So that means you never pay more than 135,000 coins no matter what, otherwise you just use that buy now. Now the thing is your best bet would be to go with that 71,000 current bid card that's the one you would bid on right now because the next lowest is 100,000. Buy low, sell high, and just repeat. Keep building the stack. Now the next method, and I just want to show this because people think this is a great method, but this year it's not. It's actually brutal. You actually don't even get coins from this method at all, and it's the collection method. If you get every card on a certain team, this year you get packs. Last year you got pucks, which was coins, right? So this year you're actually getting packs, and the thing about these packs is they're untradeable. So it doesn't even matter. To build your coin stack, this is not good. The only thing it is going to do, you're going to get some contacts contracts which will save you some coins in the long run but do not lend your cards out that's how you get scammed don't do it trust me but who knows maybe you're gonna open these packs and maybe you'll get someone good like Ovechkin or Datsuk or something like that but that also goes with kind of what I said before remember when I said the pack method might not be the best method to building packs well take a look at this this pack right here came from a 17,500 pack and I got a Pavel Datsuk I finally got a Datsuk out of a pack. This is the best pull I've ever gotten. I've opened a ton of packs. It's still not the best method, but if you do have a ton of packs, I mean, it's kind of fun to open up a pack every now and again and press your luck. Anyways, guys, I really hope this video helped you out. And if it did, do me a favor and hit that like button for me. It does help me out a lot. So hopefully you guys like this video. We'll see you guys soon.